Our Forever Friends can be a source of comfort when we need it most. And here to share more about the mission of Pet Partners, we have Dr. Debbie slayton Shawinski and Chara hanging out with us today. Welcome to both of you. Chara is ready for um, her beauty shot here. So uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you for Tell having us. Let's talk a little bit about this Pet Partners Therapy Program because this is something that's fairly new here around. Well, it's... Uh Pet Mart has been around for decades, so um, not all therapy animals are pet partners. It's a nationally um, certified uh, program for pets and their human team members. And so uh, we have been, not she and I, but my other dog and I have been pet partners since 2015. What does a pet partner's job look like? Well, it looks kind of like this. She Hanging lays, out? She lays down on the job. We go visit <laughs> people. She's especially good in the classrooms when kids are reading to her in first grade. She visits assisted living. Um, there, so there are, diff, there are about four programs. One is this kind of chill dog where she goes in. Then there is um, the, uh, the animal assisted uh, crisis team where she is also certified in that. There's a read with me program and a walk with me program to encourage individuals who may not get out and walk to come and walk with a dog. So Aww. we have all of those programs. Well, and it looks like we're looking at the 2023 Pet of the Year um, because right now they're kind of um, hosting the 2024 campaign, they yes? Are absolutely posting that. That's Rye. Rye is from Rochester, Minnesota and works a lot with the individuals who are going Going to Mayo Clinic up there. So uh, meets them at the airport, helps to support families going through treatment or diagnosis. Um, and Rye raised over $14,000 last year wow. for the pet program, pet That's partner amazing. program. It is amazing. And the pet partner in 2022 was from um, uh, San Antonio and she raised over $40,000. Wow. And Happy Hazel also, after she won that in March, she was a, she's on a crisis response team and she went to Uvalde. As My. Well. Well, so. and I'm sure that she provided lots of comfort for the, yes. for the people there in that community. So if someone's interested and they want to learn more about this pet partner therapy program, maybe they feel like their, their pet would make a good partner. Absolutely. Um, uh, you're kind of putting the call out for other people to learn about your program and to participate. We would love to have more people here. Petpartners.org. And if you want to do petpartners.org backslash pet of the year, you can find out more about that and maybe get ready for next year for that. Okay, because we, we've already got our selection for this year, so now it's just time to vote for our favorite. Absolutely it is. And there are two candidates right now that are each have about $3,500 each, and I say they're shoulder to shoulder. One is a miniature horse, and one is a Great Dane. So, so it doesn't are. have to be all dogs. No, it's not dogs. It's parrots, it's pigs, it's everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah, because so many animals can provide comfort um, for when people need it. Well, Chara has just been so chill. I feel comforted already just by her presence here being with us today. Thank you for introducing us and learn, helping us learn a little bit more about this program. Thank you so much. Oh, take a rest. Yeah. Tara, just chill. Yes, so, all right. Good girl. So good. Well, if you want to learn more about the Pet Partner Animal Therapy Team and maybe make a donation and help help those um, the, the horse or the great team um, become the next pet of the year, we'll have all of those links at our website, CILiving.tv.